I'm Yen. I'm Fiona. In this episode, we're going to try the Chanel Ultra Latin Foundation. Super excited for this one. After the fabulous success of our previous video, we're back again. So just on one brand today, Chanel, and this is the final look. Shall we get started? Yes. Let's go. Three, two, one. Okay, so... I think no one has ever seen us so bare faced before. Not like I have I put on a lot of makeup. But yeah, the way you sound like you put on a lot of makeup, but I think for me it's probably one of the rare few times that yeah. I'm I'm actually on screen without makeup at this point in time. Yeah, yeah. So there's a bit of an insecurity. So I can't wait to put on that foundation uh, just to cover a little bit of that, you know, flaws and spots. Mm, so yeah. today we're gonna do a product review, which is the yes. Chanel Ultra Latin Foundation, which is in the packaging right now so later we're gonna unbox mm. but before we try the foundation we're gonna just prep our skin the usual uh and uh hold on for a while and we'll be back really soon okay yeah. so we can start <laughs> So we are done prepping our skin yes. and next is da -da -da -da, unboxing. I'm so unboxing. excited for this. <laughs> la. The unboxing, I wish we were unboxing a bag. I, I wish so too <laughs> but yeah, imagine it's a mini bag. No, so mini. <laughs> so yes, this is a mm. Chanel foundation. I'm Ultra super excited Latin. for this. Yes. So we really want to find out whether is it worth 90 bucks? Yeah, it's 90 bucks. So mm. shall we I just open it up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Let's open. So this is how it looks like. So it comes in a regular box. Yep. Uh, this is about 300 ml for a foundation. <laughs> 30 which, ml? Eh? <laughs> 30, 30 ml. Okay. Uh, which is quite the usual for a typical foundation. So like we mentioned earlier, this foundation it's $90. Uh, when we went to the store, so we did um, actually go purchase it together this time round. Mm. Uh, like we would for the other foundation video that we did the last time round. Um, this time around is slightly different because we actually couldn't test the colours, right? Yep. Uh, it was actually very, very challenging to just kind of look at it, feel it, and just to imagine it on your face without doing a colour match. Yeah. Uh, I'll be very honest, I'm feeling very, very nervous at this point because yep. uh, I'm not very sure whether this would be the right one for us. So here it goes. I'm going to just come up a little close. I like it. It's like the matte finish. It's mm. not glossy, so it feels very... Luxurious in a way. Yeah, and it's glass. Mm. Yeah, oh. and it's it's pretty much the usual, you know, foundation kind of um, packaging. So it comes with a pump. It's very clean. Um, yeah, it just looks luxurious. So mm. yeah, I'm Thanks. gonna get started. Yeah, some yeah. of the things or some of the properties include twenty four hour wear, mm. uh, long wear. Uh, heat and humidity resistant. So, you know, in Singapore, that's the best place to actually test that. So we'll try and give it about uh, an 8 hour yeah, wear was, test today. Yeah. yeah, just to see um, how it goes. And then uh, during, along the way, when we're out, you know, running some errands and having lunch today, we'll do um, a bit of a check in to see yep. how the foundation is doing. Mm. And uh, yeah, shall we get started? Yes. And you know, it says that it has a non transfer makeup result. So, <gasps> on the mask, we shall see. Yeah. <laughs> I will put on concealer first, but she normally will put on her. Yeah, I'll do foundation first. Okay, so for this one, right, I'm I typically use about one pump. So I'm gonna pump out just one pump. Ah, okay, so this is how one pump is like. So if you look at the screen um, at this point, you'll notice that although this is um, a long wear foundation, it still has quite a bit of a fluidity when it comes to um, the foundation. You can see that actually flowing down. Uh, so I will usually do foundation first um, before concealer. But for you, I noticed that you zoom in with your concealer mm. first. Is there a reason Sorry. why you're doing concealer first? Actually, I tried the other way, but I find that the concealer is like sitting on top of my foundation. Not like I wear foundation very often. So, um, that I realized there's a patch which I don't really like the result. Okay, but I've just completed one half of my face. Um, I, I'm actually going to come close, but you will see some dots on my mm -hmm. the other face. So this is the face that's already um, sort of with, yeah, half foundation. And it actually looks quite nice. Do you shake? 
Yeah, I did. Yeah, so we should come. Okay, I will say this. Uh, this is a very sheer... Okay, foundation. I would say this is probably... Okay, sheer is not wrong. Mm, right sheer, with you. Huh? I think this is a medium buildable foundation. It's not okay. sheer, for sure. Um, yeah, I had a pump and then I put like the whole of my face. So I will say this is half a pump. This is half a pump. And if you like something that's a little bit light, although it's a long wearing foundation, I think a little goes a long way. Color wise, right? Okay, I will say, uh, I look like I'm not wearing yeah, foundation. It's actually <laughs> very, it's very tall. Eh? Yeah, it's very translucent. Yeah, I actually like it. It's very light on the skin. Okay, to be honest, from uh, my perspective, or at least for guys, I like it because it's very natural. It doesn't feel like there's makeup on. Probably it just look like a tinted moisturizer. As in the finish for now. So I'm gonna go in with another one more pump. Actually maybe half a pump would do, mm. but I'm gonna be I think for guys one is good. It really just freshen up your skin without looking too too made up. Yeah, especially if you're trying to go with that. Oh, I didn't put on makeup. My skin is very nice. <laughs> <laughs> the kind of lie that normally you want to have. I won't say that kind of lie. La. I think it's that kind of a skin <laughs> that we all love to achieve. Yeah. But, you know, with like work and all, sometimes it, it, it can get the better of us. And skin condition on a daily basis may mm. or may not be that great. Mm. Okay, okay. I will say this uh, for me. Wow. Okay. <laughs> we are like, what? You find the coverage not, not enough? No, I actually love the coverage. I think mm. um, two pumps or mm. maybe one and a half pump. And what I did was with the second pump, I did more on my cheek area, which typically is the area where I need a little bit more help because of, um, like I mentioned, pigmentation and I have redness on my cheeks as well. So this is it, you know, guys, like two pumps and wow. Okay, so this is me. Base is done um, with concealer. So I'm just going to come a little bit closer. Um, yeah, I think I, I'm going to be done quite soon. I'm just going to do a very simple mm. uh, sort of um, makeup today. Oh, the brush quite cute. Yeah, this is from Mars. Oh. Yeah, one of my favorite brushes for... Um, Fancy design. Yeah. Okay, so far, uh, foundation is looking good. No weird stuff. Um, but there's something I'm noticing though. Mm, yeah. um, I'm noticing a bit of a texture here. Mm, the creases doesn't stick in very well, right? Yeah. Are you are you seeing it or is it just me? Uh? <laughs> I don't know whether is it my eye too dry or is it? Mm, I don't have an under eye dryness situation, but I am seeing my mm. Okay, I, I don't even know how to say this because I don't typically have texture on my skin. But then, do you see like the area over here? The foundation yeah. is not sitting very nicely. A little bit patchy. Yeah, it feels yeah, I know like what you mean. This, this portion here, right? Mm. It's a little patchy. Um, so I will say it is not looking like how I first applied it, which is mm. weird because that first impression when I applied it, was very smooth, it glide on really nicely. But now that I've kind of set it, um, it, it's looking a little weird here. Mm. You know, with luxury foundation, right? Um, generally, I have a little bit more... Uh, Expectation. High hopes, you yep. know? Yep. Um, well, again, to sound critical, I'm not sure whether it's going to last throughout the... <laughs> eight hours, you know? Because I'm really beginning to see like... Okay, we give it a chance, we give it a chance. Yeah. You know, sometimes the foundation needs to like settle in. The and heat then, and the warm to kind of like integrate into your skin. I don't know, I'm just crap, <laughs> crapping now. No, you could be right. You know, some foundation, which we mm. have tried a few before, it gets better throughout the whole day. There, there's, there are foundations that are like that. It sits yep. better. Um, you know, once you, I don't know, somehow maybe perspire a little bit. Um, yeah, it might sit better. Mm. Uh, And we are out. So, yeah. whenever I wear my mask, <laughs> so I'm walking to the car. The weather is crazy. I feel that I'm melting. Uh, okay, let's see whether the foundation will survive the next, I don't know, six hours or so.
It's shelfy. Yeah, but today's weather it's merciless. That's all I can say. Yeah, already with the mask on. I don't dare to put on my mask. Eh. Let's just see whether it has that whole transfer free yeah. thingy that it claimed. Hey, but we look quite good. <laughs> because of the lighting. It feels like we are in Korea. <laughs> yeah, and I'm wearing like a jacket that's meant for winter. <laughs> okay, okay. This is really not summer wear. <sighs> okay, let's hope it stays. So we have found a place for lunch and you wanna take off your mask to show whether it's principal cool. <laughs> Are you guys ready? It's not bad! Yeah. It's not bad! Okay! Quite transfer proof. Yeah. Okay, so proven. Mine is actually quite. It doesn't really leave a little bit. Uh. It's really just a little bit. Uh, just also to credit mentions and lipstick also is so transfer proof. <laughs> So we're out and about today doing a test drive on this particular foundation which you clearly know what it is and we bumped into our very dear friend CK over here at a cafe randomly and so CK take a look at the foundation that I'm wearing you've seen me with makeup clearly every day how does it look is it like as for how I normally would look gorgeous or what's going on with my face tell me the truth what's going on with my face <laughs> I think the texture of the of the skin looks vastly different this time. Mm -hmm. Okay, in a good way or a bad way? Not in a bad way. Okay. I mean it's slightly velvety. I don't even know whether one would use this to describe foundation. Okay, velvety. But it's velvety. Okay. It's definitely not cakey. Oh, not cakey, okay. Oh. Velvety is the first first thing that came to mind. Now look at your skin like that. Mm. So on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 is, oh my god, you look like ten, shit, or ten, 10 is gorgeous. 10 as usual, as oh, usual is 10. You. Different types of 10. Oh, different types of 10. Different types of yeah. 10. Okay, over to you, Yen. So yeah, so we are using the same foundation. So probably it's very different because men has a yeah. lot more secretion yeah. oil. Yours is far from velvety absorption. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's, it's not in a bad way. Okay, because I think, I, I think the thing about foundation is that if it's not, um, if it doesn't have a sheen to me when I take photos, then it tends to be too cakey, mm. too matte and weird and cakey. Sometimes we want to apply a bit of sheen, you know, so that it's not so 80s la. But, <laughs> so 80s? Yeah, if it's, it's a good description sorry, I'm not actually. born in that era. If, I mean, when we take photos, it's yeah. really like that. Man. But, okay. um, so I think yours has got a nice balance of sheen. Okay. <laughs> so what you <laughs> Very, very nice. Okay. So here we are, um, just doing a bit of a check-in. How many hours are we in for this foundation already? Are we in six? Oh, we're six hours into this foundation. So we have two more hours to go. It claims 24 hours. Yeah, this is a 24 hour wear, but clearly we're not going to test it for 24 hours. Yeah, so we're going to, like, we plan to do eight. Lah. So we're six hours in, it's still looking good. So apparently we're gorgeous still. So yeah, thanks CK. Okay, we have come to the end of the day while we have a special guest sitting right at the back <laughs> listening to us conclude um, this episode of, um, well, Chanel Ultra Latin, I hope I pronounced it correctly, foundation. So maybe we'll start with Fiona. Yes. You know. uh, we'll do a quick recap, okay? Yeah. <laughs> um, so with this whole foundation, first of all, the foundation, it's a long-lasting 24-hour foundation. Uh, well, that claims that it's long-lasting, transfer-free. Uh, what else? It's a matte as well. So mm. these are the three main properties of the foundation. Yeah. So I'm just going to evaluate based on these three. Uh, mm. When I first applied it, um, I think if you recall, uh, was that a pump goes actually a long way if you want a natural finish. Uh, I did do a second pump. So in the second pump, I basically top up around my cheek area just to get a bit of, um, a little bit more coverage uh, for my pigmentation. So that's essentially what it is. And then I just did a very simple um, powder to set the face 
and that's basically it. Uh, there was no uh, uh, setting spray. I typically don't use setting spray, neither do I use like a primer for foundation as well. So this is a fair test um, for the foundation. Um, so the moment that I applied it, uh, I realized that while it's very sheer, um, Quite in the middle of uh, midday, I noticed that um, I begin to see uh, some texture appearing on my face, which is uh, around here. And I don't typically get that with the, the rest of the foundation that uh -huh. I use. Uh, and this is about eight hours into the whole um, foundation wear test. And a close-up, which I'm just going to come a little closer. I'm not sure whether you guys can see. Um, just around my nose area over here. We will I, insert the picture. <laughs> yeah, we'll insert the picture. So I'll, I noticed that um, the foundation has sort of um, kicked around my nose area and sort of, yeah, it's, it, it just feels um, a little cakey around uh, the chin as well. Not chin, what is this? Um, the, the cheek as well as mm. the, the, the nose area. So it being long lasting, um, I think for eight hour, it's it's performing well. I'm not sure about 24. You might need to sort of um, refresh a little bit along the way. Uh, it being matte, yes, it's a matte foundation. So if you have maybe combination to oily skin, uh, this would be good for you. If it's normal to combination skin like myself, please make sure that you hydrate your skin really really well before you use the foundation so that you avoid uh, perhaps having situation where you know it gets drier at some areas and therefore mm -hmm. um, it creates a little bit of like it sits into the foundation sit, sitting into your creases and everything would you yeah. buy it again um, I would highly recommend this foundation if <laughs> you have very very good skin and, and and i tell you why it doesn't mean that you have good skin then therefore you don't need to have a a foundation right mm -hmm. uh you know some days you just need that extra oomph and if you have really really good skin you just want to make your skin look even better mm. um i think this will be a great foundation for you so if mm -hmm. you have really good skin i highly recommend that you invest in this one uh you can wear this every single day and look like you have great skin even better skin every single day based on just the first wear test uh, uh, I will say no for now, but I'm glad I bought it. So I have to try it for a couple of more times to okay. see whether that works. Sure, yeah. sure. What about you? I mean, for me, um, color-wise, it's great. It doesn't mm. oxidize, so I'm quite happy with the color. Um, likewise, I think it kicks a little bit around my under eye, which is a little bit dry. Mm. Um, the lines around the nose mm. so I find that actually is quite evident when I first put it on yeah uh, even though I love the texture and yeah. how it how it applies onto the skin yeah yeah would I buy it again yeah, uh? would you I'll say no uh, to be honest not okay. that it's lousy not mm. that it's lousy it's just that 90 bucks right I could probably find <laughs> <laughs> something that's better yeah that is slightly cheaper not cheap but slightly cheaper so I don't think it's a lousy foundation mm. But one thing that which I Not that I hate Is that it doesn't come with SPF Oh yes It doesn't come with yeah. SPF So yeah. to be honest right Not that it's a sunscreen But I thought You know it's just nice to have lah. Yeah. But it doesn't have then Like that law. But Yeah So I guess It's a nice product lah. But Let you know, us just say nice It's not life changing <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I think Yeah uh, I will conclude by saying it's not life changing. Yeah, it's not life changing. Um, but if you love the brand yeah. and you love to have a sort of a, a luxury, you know. If you can't buy a Chanel bag, buy a Chanel foundation. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> well, if you, if you enjoy the brand and you enjoy what it stands for, yeah. um, you know, and you have great skin, you mm. just want to enhance your skin, I think this is a good everyday foundation. Yep. But if you need something that works a little harder for you, uh, then I think maybe you could watch the other foundation video that we have um, to see what you know it's 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 out there for you that you might want to try till the next one please subscribe hit the bell button and we will see you soon bye, bye. <laughs> okay.